Hello guys, welcome to my flash session. Today we will talk about uh, photography. Um, have you ever wondered why in your uh, head the picture you are taking should look like this, but in reality looks like this? Well, there are a few tips that you can uh, use and I I'm going to show you in the next minutes that you can use to have like very good professional photography without uh, without using like fancy equipment or uh, uh, any um, post-production like tools uh, how I'm going to do it so I, I will tell you there are four rules and every time I will show you a picture so that you can uh, to have an example so that you the, the concept will stick into your mind okay so let's go the first rule it's fill the frame meaning that uh, you have to take away everything which is unnecessary in the picture for example in this picture you see on the left side there are many things that are distracting us like for example the sign the road in the back while getting closer to the to our subject or even cropping the picture it, it has like much better effect and we understand better which one is the is the subject of the picture the second rule is the rule of third the rule of third imagine that the screen the screen of your camera is divided in nine equal squares like now uh, and uh, you have to place as you see in this picture you have to place the subject in one of the cross between those lines like for example if you can place the eye of your subject if it's a, if it's a person um, in one of the spot um, you will have a very 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 interesting composition for the eye so like remember to place the, the your subject in uh, in in the cross of those lines the third uh, secret is look for leading lines so leading lines you will you can find from roads from trees from whatever is around you and these are also making a, a very very interesting uh, effect for dye for example in this picture you see how the line of the ground and the line also of the rail are all pointing towards our subject the next and last uh, tip is um, you uh, look for uh, for symmetry um, like our brain and our eyes they like to to look at symmetry um, for example you see in this picture the photographer used the lines from the building and this 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 symmetry of the columns they it makes a very very uh, interesting uh, um, effect for our eyes uh, but even even more interesting even more interesting are patterns but when these patterns are broken so this also you know makes our brain wonder why what what's happening for example in this picture you see like the pattern of the um, small uh, cab but that it's broken by the white of the two nuns so these are four very simple tips that you can use next time that you are taking a, a photo and um, but also I and there is one another let's say secret that if you have an idea if uh, um, if your concept is very uh, precise you can also break the rule and you can also make your own style it's very okay just try what it uh, what it works for you and um, yeah so let's recap the first it's fill the frame then uh, rule of third then uh, look for leading lines and the fourth one is um, symmetry and patterns so now that you have um, got like uh, some more knowledge about uh, photography I invite you to come to my session at the Backpacker Hostel because we will add to this material we will add uh, more bricks and we will have uh, more fun with uh, uh, photography and also like there will be some more surprise I will, I'm waiting for you, bye, thank you